O oh my Lord, make me brave, brave, and make my past easy for me, easy for me. A faith step onto the cloud of Islam, and you will discover the light of Iman. Proclaim this message entrusted to you, and the cloud of Islam will carry you. The Christian Bible. There is no word in this whole encyclopedia of 73 books here of the Roman Catholics and 66 books in this Bible of the Protestants, Christians. The word Christianity is non-existent. The Christian says the only time Allah became a human being, he came in the form of Jesus Christ. I say, show me, show me you Christians, 1,000 million of you, the learned men of Christianity, in your Bible that you have. Any Bible where Jesus says, I'm God, or where he says, worship me, show me. We all deny that he's God. Because Allah says, Jo Allah ke saath kisi ko sharik karega, fakad haram Allah liya jannah, Allah will make jannah haram for them. Innamal Masih. He's the Masih, he's the Messiah, he's Masihullah, he's Rasulullah, he's Kalamullah. But he's not, he's not, but he's not. This is it. This picture, can you see this picture? This is a genuine picture, untouched by human hands. Can you see this picture? Can you see the picture? This is His Holiness, the Pope. What is he doing? This is what is called hide and seek. Where is the reverend? Yeah, have a look at it. Have a closer look at it. No, I'd like to explain rather. No, no, look, this rather is... Rather than hear your interpretation. Is, I'm still answering, I'm still on my feet. If you look, the uninterrupted hearing we gave you, though it was supposed to be question time, you delivered a sermon and we gave you a fair hearing. Now, this is a debate. Now what you're trying to do is now you want to debate. No, I'm not debating, uh, sir. Look, the I'm spirit, just making the spirit observations. The you have come back to the mic when I'm not finished with it yet. This is the spirit of debate. And if you want to debate, Father, look, I'm open. Any, any Roman Catholic father wants to debate with me in Pakistan, anywhere, you call me and I'll come along and debate with you. But let me finish. <laughs> so as this, this picture came from heaven, and some poet in Pakistan described it, Look, this is as if you're going to play hide and seek. He's playing hide and seek, His Holiness. Look at this. In other words, this is actually what he's doing to the Muslims. Now, this game is a very old game. These Christians are playing upon us and they're catching the Muslims out left, right, and center. Bhole bhale musalman. See, bhole bhale in English they call simpletons. Simpleton means tons of simplicity. That's what you think. It means bewakuf. Bewakuf musalman. Simpletons. Right. So, listen to this. So, talking about dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. Does he mean dialogue? I'm telling him that the Bible says, come, let us reason together in the book of Isaiah. The Quran says, Qul, ya ahlal kitab ta'alam, ila kalimatin sawaim bainana wa bayk. Let's come to common terms. Get us onto a common platform. Yes, sir. The Bible says so, the Quran says so, and His Holiness says so. So, let's have a dialogue. No, 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 no. They don't mean dialogue. What they mean is go and convert the Muslims. But if they use the word convert, you're going to react. So this is a diplomatic way of telling the people go and convert the Muslims, but call it a dialogue. Now these Muslims are being made fool of. Look, Allah is telling you to have a dialogue. About what? What were they talking? I want to know. Ask them. Anybody, what have you been talking? Allah says, Ya Ahlul Kitab, O people of the book, Ta'ala, come. Ila kalimatin sawa in bainana wa bainakum that we come to common terms as between us and you. Let us get onto a common platform. And what about what? He says, number one, Allah na buddha illallah, that we worship none but Allah, wala mushrika bihi shayan, and that we associate no partners with him, wala yattahiza ba'duna ba'dan arbabam min dunillah, and that we do not take from among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. 
فإن تولوا فكل شهدوا بأننا مسلمون but if they turn back tell them that we are Muslims we have submitted our wills to the will of Allah what are we going to talk about number one Allah na'abuda illa Allah start with that Allah says start talk about that not about the price of tea in Pakistan or the price of onions in China he wants you to talk about Allah's unity so he said we also believe in one God so look Allah says believe in one God he said we believe in one God he said what God he says the Father, Son and Holy Ghost so Allah says tell them wala taqulu salasa don't say trinity in tahu khairul lakum this is stop it will be better for you innam allah ilahu wahid for your allah is one allah he is not three in one this is the dialogue allah is telling you to have but what do you have the guys are making monkeys out of you left right and center you read a book christian mission and muslim dawa published by the islamic foundation it will cost you 2 pounds they had this thing in 1975 in Chambisi in Switzerland. All the Christian giants and the Muslim giants, they had this dialogue for how many days and they passed resolutions. How not to steal each other's children, how not to steal. Not what to do, what not, how not to steal. So telling the Christians, look, don't adopt this unfair means in the guise of education, in the guise of medicine, please don't do that. This is what the Muslim is crying. He is not talking what Allah is telling him. And they too, they say, you see, look, your Muslim countries, in Saudi Arabia, we have no chance to go and preach openly. In the Arab countries, we have no chance. Please, talk to them. Is that what Allah is telling you to talk about? No. But they made monkeys out of them, and after 10 years, they took out a book, the Islamic Foundation in Leicester. They say, immediately they left the conference. The Christians started a multi-million dollar project among the Fulanis in Nigeria, against the resolution they had passed. So what they're doing to you with these dialogues? Acha acha, khana khilate hain, chai pilate hain, and then you say, no, we are very good people, you are all very, very nice, we are hypocrites. All. Hypocrisy. Playing and they're making a fool of you and getting the better of you. Because, bhole bhale musalman. Then, I was in Birmingham. Dr. Abdullah Nasif of the Rabita, he's there. We're having lunch together. Sitting with me, he says, Ahmad, what happened about that dialogue with the Pope? So I explained to him what I was explaining to you just now. He says, you know, the Pope did it to me. I said, what did he do? He says, you know, he called me for a dialogue. Dr. Abdullah Nasif of the Rabita, World Muslim League. He said, they also called me and I went. Bhole bhale musalman. He went. And he said, they made me to sit in a waiting room. I sat, expecting the Pope to come. Then, after five minutes, they took me to another waiting room, a better quality. I sat there waiting for the Pope. Astaghfirullah. As if you're going to see the Almighty now. He didn't come. He took him to another waiting room. Higher grade, suspense. In comes the Pope. Very humble man. Most psychological. Beautiful. Look, everybody loves him. He's a master psychologist. When he came to Pakistan, where he landed in Islamabad, he made the sujood. He put his head on the foreground, and the Muslims of Bole Bale Musliman get the Sizda kya iste. Ha, hamari zamaat. I mean, the Sizda kya? He only needs a gentle push. Zara usko zara dakka maarenge to Musliman ban jayega. When he goes to India, he kisses the ground. The Hindus are happy, blessing my land. The Hindu is happy, the Christian is happy, the atheist, everybody is happy. Master psychologist. So he receives the Abdullah Nasir. Ahlan was ahlan. I don't think he said that. But welcome. So you come from Egypt? He says, no, maybe he was fishing for somebody from Egypt. He said, no, I come from Saudi Arabia. He said, you know, you don't allow us to build churches uh, in your country. So Abdullah Nasif had the presence of mind. He said, you allow us to build mosques in the Vatican? He says, no, I mean... <laughs> he said, no, no, in other parts of the country, in Saudi Arabia, he said, look, we allowed you freedom of religion, freedom of worshipping. But what you have been doing, you are making each and every one of them a center of propagation for your religion. Now from those centers, we give you freedom. You want to catch the Sri Lankan there. You want to catch the Koreans there. You want to catch the Filipinos there. Is this the dialogue Allah is telling you to have them? Then I go to Malaysia. Tunku Abdul Rahman, the old man, the ex-prime minister, the old man. I meet him, and this was news. Dialogue, dialogue with the Pope. He said, Ahmad, what happened? So I tell him what I told you. 
He says, you know, Ahmad, he did it to me also. He's doing it to everybody. He's making monkeys of everybody. I said, what did he do? He said, he called me for a dialogue. And I went. He said, Bole, Bale, Musulman. And we went. He said, I went. So as soon as I met him, he says, you know, my people, some Roman Catholic priests were caught in Sabah, trafficking in drugs, very serious kind, in Malaysia. So he said, look, can't you intercede with the Sabah government to let our people go? Is that the dialogue Allah is talking to about? However. Uh, my name is Makbul. Mahmoud. Uh, Makbul Indriyas. Makbul. Yeah. Sir, when you opened your talk, you opened with derogatory remarks regarding those three gentlemen. A man of your stature, do you think it uh, behoves? What rationale do you have talking about a fellow man like that? Then also... No, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You ask the question. One question at a time. Please, if you're going to deliver a lecture, I won't remember what no. you said. No, you made a comment. Let me respond. Yes. Then you can make another comment. Okay. It's about my tone, about my voice, about what I say. Sounds offensive. I says, you know, whatever I'm talking is insipid. Insipid, tasteless. There's nothing in it. Compared to your Lord Jesus, compared to Jesus Christ, the veritable Son of God, according to you, God in, on earth, how does he speak? He said, you generation of vipers. He's talking to his people, the elders of his people. You wicked and adulterous generation. Haram Khor Kaum. He's talking to his people. You hypocrite. You fools. You white sepulchers. Am I right? Am I quoting correctly? Right. Look, compared to that, Ahmad Bidak. Compared to that, I don't know how many marks you're going to give me for virulence, you know. How many compared to Jesus? Zero. A happy marriage is not about a wedding license. It is not about a great wedding night. A happy marriage is not when two people get married to be happy. A truly happy marriage is when two people get married to make each other happy. To know more, please join us in our program Before You Say I Do. Join Yasir Fazaga in Before You Say I Do every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Saudi Arabia and 6 p.m. UAE on Peace TV. Courage it takes to stand up for what you believe in. Courage it takes to be true and righteous. Courage it takes to dare and answer. Your questions, be they social, political, economic, educational, or religious, to get clear and convincing answers. Test your courage and question me in the dwarf. Dare to Ask, next on Peace TV. Right, next question. Okay, I read in the newspaper the other day, only during this week, somebody called, supposed to be a Muslim scholar, said that uh, St. Paul is Satan. Uh, I don't think uh, any Muslim scholar or yourself would call anybody, uh, any man from any religion whom we honor, or they honor, as one of the saints or as one of the apostles. Uh, you build now, mosques. shall I answer that? Look, some Muslim scholar. I am not doubting your, your veracity. But what the Christians are telling my prophet, you know, 60,000 books have been written against the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Do you know that? 60,000. <laughs> Let me read it to you. This is your publication. This is your publication. This is your publication. Listen. Look. This is Mother Basilia Schilling. This woman is writing, Christian woman. Allah or the God of the Bible, what is the truth? This is your Christian publication. Now listen. This Molvi, whatever he said about St. Paul, is nothing compared to what you are now telling us about my prophet. You see? It says, thus the two figures, Muhammad and Christ, are the greatest contrast imaginable. 
Jesus represents love and peace, whereas Muhammad stands for hatred and strife. Now, sh please, please, I don't want your help. I don't need your help, please. He is the lamb. Who oh, Jesus is the lamb. Garib Allah ki gai. Bakri bachka. He is the lamb. Muhammad, however, stands for violence. Having led wars, campaigns on behalf of the supposed message from Allah. Supposed message from Allah. Jesus is the embodiment of sacrifice. Indeed, sacrifice was the essence of his life. He himself became the lamb that was slain as a sacrifice for the world. Muhammad lived for his self-realization. Please, man. Don't want to horrify people, waste your time. Look, Jesus, more than a prophet. This is what you're doing among the Afghan refugees. The Christians, pure people, in trouble, maimed, crippled, amputated. There you take unfair advantage of them. Look at this. 15 Muslims of the Mujahideen, they tell how they found forgiveness, reason, new life in Jesus Christ. How did they be? Huh? And the priest was saying, we don't go converting people. Who's doing this? Huh? Angels from heaven, who's doing this? Look, look at this. Okay, sir, you speak about evangelizing. Um... Look, the Great Commission, you, you, you. So you and the Muslim, you means the Christian, you. This is the Great Commission. What, what he says, look at this. On the way to the cross, your ship, good ship, Dulos, Logos, going and harassing my people all over the world. The, there are a hundred books here. What you are doing to us, what we have done is God, God is my witness, is really nothing, is insipid. You see? Uh -huh. So now you are behaving like a, a, a virgin, little girl, you know, like a little girl who has been unjustly treated somehow. When the Christian, what have you done? What did you do to the people in the Philippines? What do you do to my people all over the world? And you are talking like lambs, you know, I said, look, we mean no harm. You conquered the whole of Africa. You conquered my nation here, this subcontinent, and you enslaved us for 150 years. No? You Christian, no? <laughs> Look, there's too much here. What is your question now? Tell me, what no, is your question? The question is, uh, in, uh, in Quran, the Prophet said that uh, if you don't understand, consult the al Kitab. And then he referred to Torah, Zabur, and Anjil. If, if it was changed, then the Prophet would have say, uh, said... Find, shh, shh, shh. Please, don't waste time. Find this, and I'll deal with it. Come, sit down on this side here. Give somebody else a chance. No, Give him the Quran. Okay. Give him the Quran. I, I don't know the text. Very small question, sir. Very small question. Very small. Yes, go ahead, young man. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm a Christian, sir. Right. Thank you, sir. Would you allow me to speak in Urdu? I can express better. No, I can't. If you didn't understand what I was speaking all this while. No, I can express better. No. OK, speak? I speak in English. Right, speak in English. OK. Uh, you have been comparing Jesus Christ with many others. I would just like to bring your attention to the Sahih Bukhari, second volume, page number 740, 13th line that uh, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he confessed that Satan touches everybody when he is born. But there were two personalities in this world. They were not touched. And you referred us to al maidah last chapter. I mean, uh, 116 verse. Why is ka So you said like that. So I would like to ask you now, there is a contradiction in two verses. And you said that if there is a contradiction in any of the holy book, it is not from God. I am not saying anything, and if you want to uh, curse what, what is please the curse myself. What is uh, the contradiction? I'll, say, I'll tell you. Till he was with us, you know, we, we said that he was God and his mother was God. And when he was not with us, Philam Abafi. Now, when he died, I would say, then we started making mistakes. Now the question is that your belief is that he is still living. And if he is living, then we did not make any mistake. Like, and the contradiction is on the other hand. Oh, just look, a moment. This sir. is not a question. Sir. What you are doing now, you are trying to preach to us. I said, look, what is your question? Sir, I am putting my question. Uh, go, come, come forward, man. Put your Vama question. Katalu, I saw him to your father. Look, so many things you touched already which calls for half a dozen different lectures, man. What is your question in a my, nutshell? My Can't you, look, 
no, sir. You speak so well English. You wanted to apologize when they speak Urdu. What for? Sir? What? No, no, look. What are you doing a devilish game? Can you are playing a one? devilish game. Sir, you please. speak such good English. You know Arabic so well. And you can't come out with a question. Sir, Ask your question. Sir, please. please. Can, can you let me have the, uh, say the question? Look, there is a question time. Sir. Your I, father. My friend, I would request you to go. Your father. No. I, I am not debating, sir. Look, your father. To your level. Wait, uh, what church do you belong to? What church do you belong to? I belong to the Church of Pakistan. <laughs> you see the Munafikin. This is how the Munafik talk. When you, Church of Pakistan, what does it mean? I said, what church you belong to? I know, sir, there was no church me. in Pakistan before 1947. No, sir. What church? Are you a Roman Catholic or are you a Protestant? What are you? No, sir. If are you, you a fish or are you a fowl? What are you? Sir, excuse me for one minute, sir. Last time I put the question about Bismillah Rahman Rahim, you never answered me and you just confused me and I went away. And this time again you are not answering my question. And I'll be confused and I'll go away. You see, look, look, the deception that you're doing now, you please, 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 keep quiet. You know, Jesus said, Jesus said, you are a wolf who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravening wolves. You said, you quoted Bismillah last time. What was the meaning you gave in Urdu? You said, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. What meaning did you give? Give now. Bismillah, I shuru karta. Shuru karta You gave that meaning in Urdu. Last time you gave it in Urdu. You read Bismillah Rahman Rahim and you give the meaning in Urdu. Give it now. Let the people hear. Shuru karta hu Allah ke naam ke saath. Right. So now, you know, I said, I shuru karta hu me. Allah ke naam se. Right? Is that what you said just now? Shuru karta hu me Allah ke naam se. That what you said just now? Right. Look, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. There is no word shuru karta hu me. You, you pretended as if you know Arabic. You know, you quoted the Arabic Quran and you give the meaning. As if you understood. But now you're deceiving everybody. You're putting dust in our eyes. Look. Bismillah rahman rahim means in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. It doesn't say, I'm starting in the name of Allah. There is no starting there. <laughs> so you see, it? No, please, please. So, cha -cha -jan, are you Muslim? You, you. Well, go and sit down. Are you Muslim? Yes, go and sit down. I don't want Muslims standing here now. Right. I'm directly nah. talking. Look. Look, my friend. Come a little closer. You see, ask a question. Don't ramble. Because when you speak about too many things, I have a tendency to forget. Then you will think that I'm trying to evade. So look, if you have a question, go for the heart of the matter. Yes, so Mr. D, that the Quran says, wa ma wa ma that they didn't kill him and they didn't crucify him. But so in the certain book, part of the Quran, it says they did. How would you explain that? Then I will explain. But come like that, please. Make it short. Look, there are people, look, I'm an old man of 70. And I'm on my feet for more than three hours. You know that? I'm one man against a whole lot of you. Look, and I'm still standing on my feet after three hours. It's not fair. We said that was the last question are there. There were two. And then another two came, another three came, another four came, and we're still entertaining you. Look, there's not another community on earth that will do that to you. No Christian will give you that facility. <laughs> but no Christian, no Christian on earth will give you that. But we are charitable. You see, look, Thank we don't you. want to get away with it, please. But come straight forward. Make your point and go and sit down. Ask a question. Yes, sir. We cannot separate the human body with the soul. Sir, you want me to go, sir? Because our brother... Ask the question, please. Yes. We cannot separate a body from the soul because we won't identify the, the life. In the same way, we cannot separate God from his holy word. We, the Muslims, say that the word of God can be recognized through the Holy Prophet as Holy Quran. Now, I would like to ask you, sir, that the Quran is only 1300 years old. How can we say, because God is infinite and he's from the beginning, sir. They see, this like is the sickness I'm talking about. You see, these people, these, you know, subject people, they don't know English. 
I said, what is the question? <laughs> he hasn't come to it yet. You know? Look, this is being, being recorded on video. Look, it's being recorded that you are not asking questions. You are making fun to say that way and you're carrying on like an eel. You know, look, you have an art. Why don't you give somebody else a chance? They might know the art of asking questions. Give somebody else a break. Yes. Come. Who's next? No Muslim. No Muslim. That job. Cha cha, that job. That's finished. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnaku min zakhrin wa unsa wa jalnaku shu'ubaw wa qabaa ila ala ta'arafu inna ka mukmindal wa hayat kakum inna la alimun khabir. O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other and you may not despise each other. Na taste patima asti. Of that God, there is no pratima. There is no image, no idol, no picture, no painting, no portrait, no statue, no sculpture. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, said that I am God or where he said worship me. In the Dina, in the Lai Islam, the only deen. The only religion, the only way of life, the only art of living, acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam. Nashatya kafit janita jadipa. Of that God, there are no lords. He has got no parents. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the only messenger whose followers mistook that he claimed to be. Ma kana Muhammadun abba adim mirjalikum walaqi Rasulullah wa khadim nabiin. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the seal of the Prophets. There's only one God, not a second one, not at all, not at all, not in the least bit. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, My father is greater than I, my father is greater than all. I cast out devil with the spirit of God. I, with the finger of God, cast out devil. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I speak not my will, but the will of my father. Wakul jal hakku wazakal batil. Inna batil akana zahuka. When truth is heard again, falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. And dhatul bavishanti ya asambutu mupasti. They are entering darkness, those who worship the asambuti. They are entering more in darkness, those who worship the asambuti. The Bible you have today, is not completely the word of God. It contains contradiction. There are many scientific errors in the Bible. in If you don't know, add the person who is an expert. Whichever God you are worshipping, put them to the test of Surah Ikhlas. Kul Allah Ahad. Allah Samad. Lam Yalid Walam Yulad. If he passes the test, the God you are worshipping is correct. If he does not pass the test, it's a false God. It's a false God. for humanity.